So this is Call and Matt, another AI art platform that's sort of hit the scene recently as they seem to be exploding all over the internet lately. But uh, this one's got a few nifty features I wanted to share, I thought was pretty cool. Things like uh, they had this enrich your prompt feature, had a uh, word power, things like that. Uh, and I'm gonna just have a look and show you how this works so you can check it out. Now, one thing I wanna say about Call and Matt is if you have any questions about it, head to callandmatt.com. Um, you can see they're running on stable diffusion and they give you a bit of information about prompts. If you want to sell, uh, they are generally asking that you add a link to their website, but uh, otherwise, some of the artwork here is actually not too bad. Some of the faces aren't as good as some of the more premium platforms, but um, still some really good layouts and art styles here to play with. So let's go in and check it out. As usual, we have a nice little community feed of images. You can click on these images, and it will bring it up into the prompt so you can try it straight away if that's what you want to do. And uh, as usual, you can just explore, try the prompt. But what we're going to do is create our own prompt. Now I'm using a free account. I have 20 credits, which generally I think it's about half a credit per generation. One thing I will say though is there's a few paid options here. In order to change the quantity or the image size, these are mostly paid options. So you just get a pretty basic chance at a prompt. So let's just put in here something like fast car with rockets. Now, first of all, we have here word power. So you increase or decrease the word power. So it's kind of like a, a text weight. So that way it'll actually highlight which one you want to increase. I can say fast rockets, but I want this to be a car. So I'll take that all the way to the top. So I can actually increase the decrease of word power with this cool little nifty feature, which I think is all right. And then there's this enrich feature as well. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just submit this prompt and explore the options with the same prompt so you can see what we get. So let's just go a fast car for rockets with that word power and click imagine. As you can see, because our prompt was pretty basic, we got something that is pretty basic. So why don't we try something different? Let's head up here, click enrich and we'll see what it does. So you can see it's added a whole bunch of words to try and give us a bit more style for our prompt. Uh, we do have some other options here, which we'll explore afterwards, but now let's just regenerate. Oh, we can either regenerate that enrichment. So I click that again. So that's our new prompt that we've regenerated with the enrich feature. And you can see here, I've got 18 points left. So you can see your points as you're going. I'm gonna click imagine. This will cost half a point. So let's see what it comes up with now that I've enriched that prompt. So now the image is looking a little bit better, a little bit cooler. Um, it's still a relatively basic image. You can see what some other people have been able to get. So why don't we play a little bit further with this? I'm going to remove all the extra. We go back to a fast car with rockets. But you see, as I'm typing, this drop down appears. I can go into presets and choose a preset to actually make. So maybe I want a Japanese futuristic portrait. I add that to my prompt and straight away it's added a bunch of information there, even though it's actually got a face in there, but let's just see what, what we get out of it anyway. And of course we've got looks. We can say cybernetic sci-fi, art history. I don't think any of this is really going to work necessarily for what we're trying to do, but painted by H.R. Geiger. And you can go through and set a whole bunch of things in here. Creative effects, okay, infrared photography. So now by choosing a whole bunch of these extra effects, we can further customize our prompt based on what we see. So let's imagine that again and see what results we get. And now you can see we're getting something that's really cool, starting to really shape up and look more unique. So why don't we try something else? Let's try a face to see what we can get out of that face. So let's say smiling villain face and see what we can add. Let's go back. Once again, let's go to presets. We'll try dreamy portrait. Portrait photo styles. I, don't, I like the idea of mixing some of this up to see what, what comes out. Let's try this one. Art history. Mixing up the portrait style with graffiti art urban public art, see what we come up with. Mood, negative mood, even though the person is smiling. <laughs> so once again, going through and just picking out what we think will look really cool. 
I'm gonna leave that too. Let's try that and see what we get again. So we have our smiling villain face and uh, it's not too bad. So you can download this image if you want to and keep it aside on your computer, that kind of thing. The only issue I think at the moment is I can't seem to find a way to upscale these images. They are 512 by 512 and even with the pay plan, I don't know if you can actually upscale them, but uh, overall, it's still a bit of fun to play with. If you wanna have a play with the platform and once again, with these features, you can learn some really cool words and ways to describe your prompts. So check out Call and Matt, something a little bit different and uh, see what you reckon. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon and have a great day.